So the other day I was watching Demon Slayer on a completely legal website when I noticed an interesting looking show in the corner. It had a cute girl on the cover so you know I had to click on it. It was the show called My Star and after Demon Slayer I had nothing to watch so I decided to give it a chance. The show begins with this random ass doctor winning over this 16 year old idol. Which is a bit weird but you know I ain't got anything better to do so I kept going. Next this idol happens to be the doctor's patient and they find out that she's pregnant with twins at 16. She decides to keep the babies and at this moment I had no idea where the show was going. Is this gonna be an anime version of TLC is unexpected? We are gonna watch some teen mom drama or some shit? The show speeds through most of the pregnancy and you see the idol, whose name's I by the way, become friends with the doctor, whose name's Goro. Finally it's almost time for I to give birth and Goro has promised to deliver the babies. Well, that night he's walking home when this Kirito from the dark timeline looking ass motherfucker shows up trying to mug him or something. I guess it's like I stalker or something. But Goro is having none of it and hits him with the you know reverse who the fuck are you? I guess he rolled a nat 20 on intimidation cause Kirito starts immediately running away like he's the victim. Like bro, weren't you gonna mug this man like 2 seconds ago? Goro is on full protective mode, he not gonna let this man get anywhere near I, so he starts chasing this guy who came up to him trying to get his ass. Unfortunately he put on the wrong glasses or something cause the man ran straight to the edge of a mountain and just stands there yelling. Kirito is mad embarrassed by what just happened, the man got almost laid out by this random doctor who he was trying to mug. He not gonna get caught lacking like that and risk the chance of this shit going public, that shit's career ending. So Kirito decides to hit him with a sneak attack and that shit works, fucking critical damage. He pushes Goro off the cliff straight to his dead. He one hit KO'd the man. That's a lot of damage. Only problem is our main character is fucking dead, but we've all watched that attack on Titan so we know how this shit goes. What I didn't expect was that Goro would get reincarnated as one of Ai's kids. I'll repeat that, the grown ass man gets reincarnated as one of her fucking babies. You can't make this shit up. I laughed so hysterically during this entire scene from his death to the reveal. I don't know if it was supposed to be a sad scene but I was cracking up. And it was the middle of the night so I probably woke up some of my family members. It hit extra hard cause I had no idea this show was gonna have fantasy elements. This shit hit me like... Too soon, maybe a little. I was like this shit was in the description cause I thought I read that. I guess not or I'm just illiterate cause it was in the third sentence. So I guess I just can't read. Now we follow the lives of the two twins and by the way the other twin is also a reincarnation of someone. So we follow these grown ass humans in these little baby bodies and no one really questions how developed they are for their age. But I... The show largely focuses on the entertainment industry which I do really find interesting. The show starts off pretty lighthearted, but once you go deeper, oh boy, let's just say shit gets interesting. Near the end of the first episode, which is the length of a movie by the way, Kirito shows back up at Ai's door and it seems like he still thinks he's in SAO cause he straight up stabs Ai in the stomach. He's trying to get that KD ratio up. He tries to hit her with the My, my pain is still far greater than yours. He starts telling and complaining like a 6 year old who got his iPad taken away talking about You ignored your fans, your fate, like bro get a life. Now I stab but she's still talking delusional shit like I still love you. She trying to use talking no chuchu even though she already got stabbed. Like girl that's not how it works you gotta do it before you get stabbed. She has a very heartfelt conversation with her kids and I'm not gonna lie that shit actually hit me in the feels. <coughs> Then she actually full on dead ass dies. Oh yeah and Kirito thought he could respawn or some shit cause he offed himself, dumbass. Now the two kids are on their own I guess. I really couldn't predict this shit even if I had a crystal ball. Now our boy Goro gets on his Sherlock shit and deduces that the killer was fed information by someone and that someone must be their father who is still a mystery. Now, So now the little baby Goro is on a mission to kill his fucking own dad. Fucking Star Wars shit. Man's Luke trying to go kill Vader, I don't know how that's gonna go, but that's where we end the first episode. Let me know in the comments and by liking this video if you want me to keep going through the show. I'd also appreciate any feedback since this is my first real YouTube video. Thanks for watching, subscribe, bye!